nice to see you here this evening. Uh, thank you for, for your presence. Uh, I think we all appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, when Nalaka proposed this to me, I was like, come on, Nalaka, you can't be serious. Jan media lasts for another 30 years. We, we, we are not sure what it's going to be like in three or four years from now. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you, you are no stranger to sort of disruption that's happening in, in the industry I work for. And, and I think sometimes that, that baggage that we as journalists carry tend to warp our view of what is best for, for the role that media can play in, in society. We, we, we have come to think of us ourselves as, as kind of like indispensable. You know, democracy can't function without media sort of attitude that us journalists have. But really, here's when you sort of stop for a minute and start thinking. You know, Nalak is really not asking us or asking me to consider the future of media. He's asking or he's talking about the future of news. Are the two interrelated? Are journalists important in this equation in the first place? Maybe he thought they were because he invited a career journalist to speak about the future of news. But let's see if that really matters. You know, uh, nothing I say with what sounds like certainty uh, means that I have a, there, there is a linear uh, relationship between what I'm saying and really what is likely to happen. You know, honestly, in this industry, I don't know what's going to happen in five years, uh, but I will try to speak with authority. I will try uh, to sound like I know this stuff, uh, and let's see what happens, right? Uh, you know, uh, ju just a footnote. I think a few, few background notes are important, you know, uh, because uh, rolling back, uh, wh why, did, why did journalism come about? I think journalism came about maybe 200 years ago in the form that we know of it today uh, because democracy as a, as a preferred means of organizing society came to the forefront. For democracy to function, it was important that people who were going to elect their representatives, their legislators, understood the issues. And it had previously been that you know you you passed on the news at the local tavern, and and the few people privileged enough to un know how to read or write would write letters to each, each other. Uh, but when when democracy became an organized function, and how how we decided, okay, this is how we are going to organize society, and this is a great system for us, or at least it seemed to seem to be a system that works. The news media as we know it started appearing, right, and and. And there was another condition that was necessary that made news media possible, and that was technology. It was important initially in that first wave to understand how to read and write, or at least how to read, because that was the only form available. You, you, you had, had, had printed stuff. Usually in the early stages, they were like pamphlets uh, distributed at the local you know, tavern uh, or, or where people gathered. Um, but it was technology, it was that ability or the, that the invention of the printing press that made this dissemination possible. Before that, it was not possible to disseminate things. So, so here are the two conditions that, that started it off. There was democracy, we figured it was a good way of organizing things, and there was technology that disrupted, I mean, that, that made things possible, that, that made democracy possible, that made democracy, um, uh, that made it possible for people with, with an informed mind to participate in democracy. Uh, mass media, as we know, started. Uh, then, I mean, we for subsequently know there was, uh, there, was, there was radio, there was television, the whole, whole lot appeared as we went. But, so this, this is the background. Uh, so here are, here are a few things that I'd like to sort of put to you. With, with, with little authority uh, about their relevance for the future. And, and that is, in 30 years from now, will democracy matter? That's an interesting question for anybody who's interested in the future of news media. In 30 years from now, 
where how will we, we see, how will we perceive individual freedoms will individual freedoms start trumping democracy will we get to a stage of kind of uh, self actualization as individual human beings where we 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 are able to organize society around self regulated communities uh, Tilak's talking about a democracy, I know, uh, you know <laughs> different form of thinking. Uh, but, you know, it's, 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 it's an idea that I'd like to put forward. You know, the news media's relevance in the future is, is directly linked, uh, is, is linked to democracy, has been linked to democracies in, in, in the past. Will democracy matter in the future? How will we, we how will we view individual freedoms versus democracy? Which is more important? Which will come to the forefront in the future? And how will society then decide to organize itself? And let's 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 again roll back to the past here. Okay, in 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 in, in the time when the news media as the mass media as we know it didn't exist like it does today. How did societies organize? The societies were feudal. The, 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 uh, the king or, or your, uh, the king owned uh, everything. It was a feudal system. You uh, served at the wishes of the crown. You served the wishes of the crown. Um, but in the irony of this whole thing is it was, it was also a time of, of individual freedoms. If, it was possible for, for borderless travel. Trade was freer. And it was, it was a time when the, the you know, just, just think back, the irony of this whole thing was, uh, while it was a feudal system, there was, there was a sense that people could move about quite freely. Uh, the individual, did matter to a to a to a degree where you know if you didn't like the setup here you could potentially go somewhere else and and are we are we is 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 our future a reflection of that past is our future a reflection of a past that didn't wasn't codified by these nation states these constitutions these laws and systems that that I mean, nobody's arguing that they were no, they are unnecessary today. But is is our will we go into a future where potentially we see the nation state as something that is less important, has a smaller role in our future? Here are a few thoughts. So 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 th that's one set of the thoughts, right? Uh, how this, how does this impact the news industry, the news media? Uh, I mean, any, any rookie reporter will tell you the conversation that happens on the first day and on the job. Uh, your editor will call you, uh, your editor will have a chat with you and talk to you about who, what, where, when, and why. If, anybody, if any one of you have been a journalist at any point, uh, this is what you're supposed to encapsulate, encapsulate, in, encapsulate in a story answer these five things who what where when and why right look at what's happening now with technology is the question of do we need practitioners specialists in in journalism in, and in practitioners in media to answer these questions around any single issue. If you, if you look around in social media, these questions are being, these questions around any number of significant issues are being answered by communities, by society at large. But there is one question, the why, that is a little bit more difficult to get your head around. 
And here's how I'll start, sort of, as, as I sort of finish these thoughts, here's how I will try to string this all together. Okay? We are not sure if democracy, for me, I'm not sure if democracy is going to be how we organize society in the future. I think individual rights may matter more and we could see, foresee ourselves in a sort of setup where, uh, where a, each one of us uh, organize ourselves. You know, we, we don't need the assistance of legislators or le appointed representatives to organize things for us. In such a situation, we will also be able to often answer for ourselves the questions of who, what, where, and when easily. The question of why will not will be the preserve often of, of thought leaders. Will journalists as they do exist today exist in the future then? Or is, is it an irony that, that all of us who, who I'm, I'm sure many of you are thought leaders in, in the areas that, that you specialize in, will Will our vision, will our opinions matter more at that period of time? And here's what I'm leaving with you. I think um, if, if I spoke with quite, quite a lot of authority, that's, uh, that's, that's purely, uh, purely, purely uh, something you're seeing. It's, it's not reality. But, uh, but let me leave those thoughts with you. Uh, I hope we can sort of talk about that in, as, as we go into, into the rest of the thing, the um, rest of the evening's presentation. Um, it's the why that matters. And as, as much baggage as journalists, as, as news media practitioners as we carry, I don't think we will matter. I don't think we will matter uh, five years from now. I certainly don't think we will exist as a species 30 years from now. <laughs> Thank you.